don't forget to wear your headphones. Arise, my little plaything. Kidding, kidding. You know I don't care for such ridiculous things. I bet you thought you'd never see me again. Well, you were wrong. And the look on your face is priceless. You know, I have to admit, I love doing unexpected things, and you gave me the perfect opportunity. No. Look at you, observing your surroundings. We're no longer in the Mages Guild. Though I'm still a part of it, I decided to learn from my past mistakes. So, you and I are in a more secluded area. <laughs> you don't like it. That's too bad. I don't really care. <sighs> I thought we decided to be friends. You trying to say you don't want to see me? I can send you back if you want, though. I cannot promise loss of limbs won't take place. The magic within the college is a lot more stable than it is out here. Well, I was thinking you could stay for a while. We could do friend things. You don't want to stay for a while. God, you know how to make a girl feel special. <sighs> well, I can't force you to stay. But I can convince you. I know you don't have magic where you come from, so... If you stay in this world, maybe I can teach you a thing or two. Who knows, I might even let you take a little magic back with you. No promises. Oh, come on. Why the long face? Would I lie to you? Don't answer that. The answer is yes, I would, but... Have a little faith. Come on, I thought we were friends. Aren't you supposed to trust me? With your life, hopefully. <laughs> was a joke and bad taste, but you should expect nothing less from me. Come on, your demon best friend who summons you to another world to hang out. Expect the unexpected. <sighs> Lesson number one, come on, don't be a drag. Now, I need you to at least give me a little sign of faith that you trust me even this little bit, or else I can't let you out of the pentagram. I can't do anything stupid if I think you're going to do anything stupid. So, can I trust you? Or do I have to keep an eye on you? Well, I'm gonna keep an eye on you no matter what you say. But it can be painful or not painful. <laughs> you seem awfully curious about the painful option. I mean, I'll put a seal of bondage on you. It'll hurt like hell. Burns the skin. Nasty business. 
I'd prefer not to. I think it'd put a sour taste in this friendship of ours. Don't you think? And <laughs> come on, I owe you a little bit more than that, don't I? You are my only friend after all. But you're not from this world. I can't have you running off and getting eaten. Oh yeah, there are plenty of deadly aspects of this planet, many of which you are unequipped to handle. All of which you are unequipped to handle. So what's it gonna be? Are we going to agree or disagree? Good, good. I have to admit, I was hoping you'd disagree. <laughs> I won't go into that. Never mind. Pretend I didn't say anything. Of course I'd never hurt you. Probably. Anyway... Magnus Agnimatus. Mm. You may walk free. Uh. Okay, mind this purple moss over here. It melts flesh. And just a little pro tip. So, where are we off to first, friend? First, you need to put this on. I already told you there aren't really people like you here. Yes, I did. I told you last time, didn't I? Whatever, I'm telling you now. Quit whining. I'm not risking my hide for you and your strange looks. You forget we're not in your world. How I look is normal in comparison to you. So, do I need to repeat myself really? Where are we going? So you do want to practice magic first. Never fear then. I've got you. Let's move away from all these pesky trees. <sighs> I know. Trees here are such gossips. Mm. Yeah, trees love to gossip. It's really annoying. So. I think this will do fine. What do you want to learn first? Mm. Mm. Yes, that was sort of a spell. But summoning someone to another world is far too complicated for you. You don't know how to do anything. You're so boring. You're making me tired already, and I've only just let you three. Maybe I should have put a seal on you. No, then you'd be screaming in pain, and that's even more boring. Well, look. I'm gonna teach you the basics. I just need to know what you want first. There's tons of classes, but maybe let's think of something elemental. That's pretty basic. Fire. Now that is a good option. 
Mm, you must be careful, though. Fire burns, and if you set yourself on fire, well, I'd kind of be down a friend, and that sucks, so... I'd prefer not to have to befriend a tree. Alright, let's start with something easy. Come here. Give me your hand. Finger out like this. Like this. God. Okay. Just point it here. <sighs> Repeat after me. Say, cryo. And then write out your name with your finger. Hmm. There. Your name is hovered in the air in little flames for a few seconds. It's a dumb party trick, but eh, for beginners, it's okay. Why are you freaking out? It's not that cool. I suppose for you it is. You've really never done magic before? Surely there's some form in your world. Mm. And legends. Huh. I suppose everything comes to an end. If magic existed in your world, it was probably long since past. Mm. Things that powerful can only last so long. You've done it like five times now. It's really not that cool, I promise. You're such a dork. I find it funny that something so stupid can amuse you. You're like an animal. Like a cat with a yarn ball. Yeah, well, we have cats here. Hmm. Um, I do have one, yes. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't think I'd have something so cute? And just because I hate, like, literally everything doesn't mean I can't appreciate animals. Anyway. If you're done with that, we could move on. I'm yawning because you're boring. You're from another world. Don't you have interesting stories to tell? Love. Didn't you hear me? I said something new. Love exists on this world as well. Though I can't say I've ever experienced it for myself. It's not really a demon thing, you know? <laughs> I have no interest in something so stupid. Why would I? All I need is to learn magic and become powerful. What could matter more to a demon? You're silly. Not like you would ever understand anyways. You're just a magicless human. Though I suppose you can do something now. A deal? <sighs> I'm a demon, silly. I make deals with humans. That's kind of our thing. I'll teach you magic. In return, you teach me about love. Fine. It's 
sounds simple enough. But you'd better get going. The sun is setting. Step back into the pentagram. Goodbye, you interesting, silly human. I'll see you around.